Hello everyone, welcome to Voice of Cricket. In this video, we will obviously see post-match review analysis for the 4th T20 International between India and England. So please watch the video till the end and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I post the video. So let's enter into the video. Well, it was a very good T20 international in this fourth T20I between India and England in Ahmedabad. The most exciting and the thriller T20s, T20I in this five-match T20I series till India posting a respectable total on the board after batting first and England failing it to chase. So it was completely an all-round victory for Team India in this fourth T20 international and Team India have leveled the series 2-2. So this means that the 5th T20 International will be a must-win game for both the teams if they want to win the series. Let's look at some of the big re let's look some of the reasons for India's victory and also some positives that England can take even if they have lost this match. While a quick look at the playing 11, India made two changes to their playing 11. Ishan Kishan missed this T20 International due to a groin injury, so Suri Kumar Yadav batted ahead of him. Another Another uh, change that they made in their bowling was to drop Yusufendra Chahal and bring in uh, Rahul Chahal. So these were the changes that India made to their squad. But for England, they did not make any changes. So they used the same team that they used for the 30 So these were the teams that India and England chose to play for this 4 3 20 international. While the biggest positive that India will take is the batting of Surya Kumar Yadav. Coming ahead of Ishan Kishan in this 4th T20I, he showed why he belongs to the biggest stage. He made his debut in the second T20I itself but did not get any chance to bat. So this was his big opportunity to bat and post a good and was very crucial for India posting a good total on the board. His first international 50 was very crucial and came at a must needed situation for Team India. So Surya Kumar Yadav showed his class and brilliance at the biggest stage against the top English bowlers. The first ball that he faced in international career, that pull shot of Archer's bowling, from that on he was unstoppable and did not even look back. He played all kinds of shots all around the wicket and bring, brought up his half century. So he was a very crucial for Team India's victory in this 4th T20 international. Another big reason that India will look to take as a positive for the 5th T20I will be Bhubaneshwar Kumar's bowling. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar has come back to his rhythm over his international return. His bowling not just in power play but also in the death overs gave India a very good chance to defend this total that they have posted on the board. So Bhuvaneshwar Kumar started the innings with the maiden against Jason Troy. So Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was very very crucial for Team India's victory in this 4th T20 international. The next big positive that India will look is Hardik Pandya's bowling. Hardik Pandya batted as well and also bowled his full quota of 4 overs and took 2 wickets for just 16 runs. He was also very very crucial and added balance to India's bowling. India went in for 4 frontline bowlers and relied on Pandya as his 5th bowling option. So if he continues to bowl his full quota of 4 overs, he will be come in a big use for India in this T20I World Cup. So he was allowed to bowl in the power play along with Bhubaneshwar Kumar as he took the new ball and started his innings really well in his bowling. So from there on, he never looked back as well as his figures was very economical. So economical bowling from Hardik Pandya was also a big reason for India's victory. Another reason that they would like to take is the batting of Shreya Zayar and Rishabh Pant. Shreya Sayar and Rishabh Pant had cameos and was very and had a good finish to India's innings. Shreya Sayar batted till the 19th over and, and was very crucial for India, bringing up 185 runs on the board. On the other hand, Rishabh Pant smashed the England bowlers all over all around the park to bring up his 30. So cameos from both the middle order batsmen was also crucial for Team India's victory in this fourth T20 international against England. So these are the big reasons for India's victory. Let's look some positives that England can take in, even if they've lost this match. One big positive is Ben Stokes coming back to his form. Ben Stokes did not do much in the first three T20Is. 
which was expected to be uh, to be back in form in the fourth T20 international, as he was with the bat. The England needed someone to be there to stay till the end to keep England in chase. So the partnership between Ben Stokes and Johnny Bairstow was very key and crucial for Team England in that stage when Indian bowlers took crucial wickets and regular wickets at regular intervals. So Ben Stokes' batting will be a big positive that England can take in this T20 international. Another big positive that England would like to take is the bowling of Jofra Archer. Jofra Archer took four wickets and his best ever bowling figures in international T20 cricket. He not just picked wickets in the power play, but also in the death overs, conceding runs. Sorry, yeah, defending runs. So Jofra Archer's bowling figures also will be a big positive for Team England that they would like to take ahead in the fifth T20 international. Altogether, this T20 will was a classic and a thrilling T20 international, most exciting of the this series till now. Now the series is leveled 2-2, so this will mean that the 5th T20 International will be a must-win encounter for both teams if they want to win this 5-match T20i series and pay TM T20i trophy. So this is what I have got for this T20i, uh, 4th T20i review. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell notification to get notified whenever I post a video. Thanks for watching.